Carlos, how you feeling today, man? Oh, can't wait. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Big three. From the Dash Radio Studios here in Hollywood, California, I'm your friend Tattoo, and this is all about the Big Three. Of course, my co-host, director of Big Three Fireball Operations, breaking it down every single weekend, the one, the only, my man, Thomas Scott. T, what up, bro? What's up, Tat? We back, baby. And we're back from Dallas, Texas. It was a beautiful weekend out there, and we'll be back out there, of course, for week four. But, but, but Tom, we had a great time out there. Absolutely, man. You know the big three never disappoints. It's always a good matchup. It's always a good round of basketball. And, you know, Ice Cube just does a great job of putting together a great event for the fans. So I can't wait to talk about it, and let's break it down. Exactly. Uh, you do a great job, Thomas. I can't do this without you, man. I even seen you out there in Dallas behind the – you were having a good time in Dallas on some turntables, bro. Come on now. Yeah, man, I was feeling the energy. I was feeling the vibe. They were breaking it down. Do you uh, DJ to Thomas or what? You know, that's a passion that I would love to do. I know I have a lot of friends that actually DJ, and I just can't learn it completely, but I always appreciate it. And it's a life for the party. So I just wanted to get a little piece of their world for a moment. <laughs> well, look, when we got DJ Ski and we got J-Love out there, those are going to be your teachers right there, bro. Every weekend, you should just go up there for like five, ten minutes, dog. You'll get it down, bro. Don't trip. Hey, you know what? As long as I can play some cube, I'm good. Big three. three, three, three. What are you going with, Dusan? What are you, you getting there? You want? Water? Sure, I'll take one. No yeah. problem. You, you want paying for it? Are you paying for it? Or are, are you paying for it or what? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, man. If you're paying for it, I'll take it, okay? Yeah, yeah. Post, PJ Passion, PBNJ Passion. And for me, vanilla, and for you, vanilla. So you, you like vanilla, huh? Yeah, I mean, I don't like berries. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah. Yo, Dusan, cool. you got the whole team together this week. Yeah. This is the first yeah. time yeah. aliens are going to play all the guys. Getting ready, week three here in Dallas, man. How excited are you for that? I'm uh, actually pretty excited, but I didn't find a baby shop, so, you know, I don't look good, but like I hope hey, in the, the, the court the, we're gonna look good. The beard That's might good. help you though. Yeah. You, you ever seen Rocky when he grows his beard yeah. out, you know, when he's training yeah, and working yeah, yeah. out? Rocky yeah. grows out that yeah, beard for some reason it does something. So maybe, yeah. I don't know, that beard might do yeah. something for you, yeah. do something. And you might not want to shave it. Yeah, hopefully. You know what I mean? You guys hopefully. might, you might, you guys might hopefully. take over tomorrow yeah. and be like, you know what, I'm gonna keep the beard. <laughs> yeah, that sounds actually nice. How you feeling, man? Yeah. How, how excited are you to have the team all together finally, aliens? I can't, I can't wait like this moment and now we're finally all together. I think we can do big things on the yeah, court. Yeah, definitely. Tough loss last week? Uh, it was tough, but they were like better than us. They played better, you know, and they're more experienced. We didn't have... Uh, we Where didn't were have you last week? We needed you, man. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was busy to be like six on World Cup. Uh, and you're not, are you gonna grow that beard out like him? I'm a baby face. <laughs> I have problems with that. Yo, man, good luck. Thank you guys you. are, are gonna, uh, are you guys gonna, I think you guys are gonna do really well, hopefully, man. Hopefully, Absolutely, hopefully. man. It's, it's not everything around us, but like, Carlos, it's like really good team, so you know. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, especially like last game, you know, the, the brother product will just take over the game. Right. right. We didn't count on that. So. Right. We're gonna see them in the playoffs in final four. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Yeah, Carlos, nice. make sure you say the last name. Las Manes. Las Manes. I gotta get that right, man. Carlos, La Carlos, Las Manes, Tucson, Bullet, your boy Tattoo, hanging out with the aliens, man. We're just having a good time. Boom. So what's going on in the in the locker room? What goes on before the game here for uh, aliens, man? Uh, it's mainly just a lot of laughs and jokes, especially from the the big fella. He's probably the funniest one in the locker room. Shut up. Oh, my fault, my fault. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carlos, how you feeling today, man? Oh, I can't wait. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> how, how's it been so far in the league and how are you getting along with your teammates, man? Uh, it's been amazing. You know, it's fun. It's an experience. Uh, I just think we're enjoying it right now. Very glad that we got everybody here and we're able to actually piece something together. Our chemistry is crazy, which is very different especially because we've only known each other for a certain amount of time but we're we're excited man we feel we feel good i feel like i've been knowing these guys all season long Big three. aliens got their whole squad together for yes. the first time and bivouac needed a w going into week three oh and two exactly and i was at practice with bivouac uh gary payton was just like look we got to be aggressive we, we get to these slow starts and then we try to play catch up 
I mean, every game they've lost has been by three or two points. Right. So they're losing games by two and a half points every night. So they're in the game. They're competing, but they're slow and, and starts. And Gerald Green is just doing his thing. He's trying and trying and trying. He's doing everything he can to yep. get Big Whack that W. Yeah, and they made some changes. I thought they were better defensively. Um, as you know, they released Ike Diagu, and they brought in his brother, Garland Green, who I think is a solid defender and can do some things offensively. But Corey Brewer is also another guy, I think, in this league that is really – playing hard and, and trying to play winning basketball. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like Will Bynum really has his feet under him yet. I don't know what's going on completely, but for some reason, they just couldn't get it done again. And and, and, and I, they were this close, man. That's they, this, were, they were this close. It was down to the nib. It was down to the wire. Down it, to the wire. They, they caught up. They could have won the game. But at the end of the day, aliens in their continuity, they play – a different style of basketball where everyone is involved, everybody's moving, cutting, touching the ball. Dusan is making the right play to get his guys the ball. And I like Evosev's uh, physicality. And Carlos Last Manis, even though he missed last week, he showed he didn't miss a step. So uh, as you can see, the Aliens, Rick Mahorn, they steal a big win and they go two and one. And I think they're in the right shape to, hey, compete. Yo, no matter what, even though Big Wax 0-3, first off, you got to know, Thomas, that is not a great start, especially in the Big 3 Fireball League. Yeah. Uh, you, they, they need a W bad. Exactly. But Gerald Green, no matter what, I can see him in the Bahamas at that All-Star game. Whether they win or lose, no matter how their season goes, Gerald Green is having a, in a tremendous start-off season in this league. Yeah, he's figuring it out, and he knows that he can score, and not a lot of people can guard him. And it's frustrating him. I talk to him a lot. He wants to win. He's doing everything he can to win. He wants to win the whole championship. Like, it's not about looking good and losing and stats and numbers. It's really about winning the championship with him. So if they can continue to try and figure it out, I mean, it's not too late, but it's getting close. Big three. Ghost Ballers and Trilogy. I was really looking forward to that Mike Taylor, Isaiah Briscoe matchup. And it was a matchup, bro. It was incredible. They went at it. Incredible. And then I also wanted to see Darnell Jackson and Amir Johnson, who both had really good games week two. Mike Taylor got off to an incredible start like he normally does. High energy, getting to the rim, knocking down shots, you know, yelling out his ghost. Right. And, and Chris Johnson just being real versatile and Darnell. I love that combination. Right. Of those ghost, three ghost guys. baller started off strong. Absolutely. But I think the magic word is they walked them down. Trilogy walked the ghost ballers down. They got stuck at 40 points. Right? right, and you know what? Coach Steven Jackson, he can really get in people's heads, man. I, I can see that. Hey, 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 that's what you do every play. That's what you do every play. Walk it over there and they don't double, lay the ball up, dog. Y'all making it hard. So when he does that, it fires his team up. And he was daring Mike Taylor to shoot the three. And he was struggling making them down the stretch. But at the end of the day, what it came down to was Isaiah Briscoe. He was unstoppable. He was scoring. Even if he missed, Amir Johnson would get the rebound. He had 21 points. Big shots from Earl Clark, who also had 21 points tonight. I think Trilogy is coming into their own right now. Uh, they have always been an aggressive team. You already know how their swagger is. Two-time big three champions. Yeah, exactly. So they know how to get it done. And tonight was no different. They showed that they still can get it done without Jerry Jack. And Isaiah Briscoe has stepped into the leadership role. They get the W, 50 to 47. Both teams two and one now going into week four. Big three. This game, I think everybody was anticipating. Michael Beasley getting out there, Mario Chalmers, Brandon Rush, the captains, you know, Michael Cooper coaching this team. And I think they needed a win. And I think they knew it. Uh, they came in one and one. And at the same time, it looked like Mike Beasley was struggling. Got some good looks, missed some easy ones, and I think it kind of bothered him. But at the end of the day, even though he was struggling, you got to give the defense of three-headed monsters a lot of credit because they made it difficult for him. And Jonathan Simmons, Kevin Murphy, every week, Kevin Murphy just brings it. Yes. And Jonathan Simmons is learning how to play big three fireball basketball. And so... As he's doing that, they're getting chemistry. They had new additions. They had Quincy Miller tonight. Yeah. And then they also had Sammy Monroe. To me, I thought he had a really good debut showing physicality. Incredible, man. Yeah. I was like, who's this Monroe guy? Yeah, he wasn't afraid of the moment. Uh, he was aggressive offensively and defensively. And he helps him get that W. Yeah, he helps him get that W. 
But man, we cannot forget about Michael Beasley towards right. the end. I mean, he hit two big fours. All right, he, he started, he was getting on fire. Yeah, man. he was getting hot and then he falls down awkwardly on his ankle. How's he doing, man? Uh, you know, we, we still got to get an x ray. I talked to Ben, our athletic trainer, got to get an x ray to get a real feel for what really happened and if he's going to miss some time. We'll keep you posted on that. But at the end of the day, three headed monsters, they got the win, they needed it. They're two and one. Three's company is one and two. Got to turn that thing around, but uh, you got to give credit to Reggie Theus and the three-headed monster. Big three. Power and enemies. Nick Young, a.k.a. Swaggy P, was on fire in Fireball 3. He knocked down a gang of threes. I mean, he's just sprinting to the line, cashing. And I think he's been watching all about Big Three. I think so, Because <laughs> <too. 'Cause> when <laughs> I watch it, I want to play. I want right. to No, but we, we've been talking about Swaggy B playing. Yes. And, you know, we've been more, you know, we, you know, we got to keep it real. Actually. Yeah. We, we keep it honest right here. And we've been saying, yo, where's Swaggy P been? You know, every week I always say, I need more buckets from Swaggy P. I said it at the draft. I say it every week on this show. But also, I say it to him. I tell him I need more buckets. So the past two games, I have been in his ear a little bit. But this one was the Swaggy P that I know. And when he's stepping up on a leadership role like that, everybody's following. And, right. and when you miss Elijah Stewart, who was not playing, Jordan Crawford makes his debut and drops a Dude, clean, he had a good game. A good game. A clean 10, 11 points. Yeah. And Sec Henry, these guys... I'm telling you, they have the philosophy of Gilbert Arenas. They decided we are going to be bucket getters. It's not about plays. It's more about spacing and attacking and scoring. Power right now is just struggling to figure out their continuity. I think they're a little bit step slow defensively, but they have to figure out what's going to work for them. I, I talked to Catino a little bit, and he's trying to figure it out, and they're going to work at it. Nancy Lieberman's a great coach, as you know. Yeah. They're going to figure it out, but I think they have to figure out how they're going to play. And, and and right now, what they're doing, it's not that it's bad. It's just they have to figure out what they got to do to win. Absolutely. It may not. be a little different than it was in the past, but they're smart guys. They have high IQs. They're competitors. Royce White, all these dudes, they love the hoop. They want to win. And they just got to figure out what they're going to do to get it done. And the enemies take a big W, 50 to 39 over power. Big three. Big three. Killer Threes taking on Tri-State, Frank Nitty, Jason Richardson. Huge matchup. Talk about it, Thomas. When Jason Richardson is there, they're a different team. I mean, it's business as usual. What I like to do from my seat is look at these guys' eyes while they're in competition. And this dude is just, he's just going hard. And then when they get Larry Sanders in there, a lot of times teams are picking on Justin Dentman. When they try to take advantage, Larry's right there to block. When you got Justin Dentman on the same page with Jason Richardson, Larry Sanders, and then Dewan Summers, to me, might be up for Rookie of the Year. Yeah, in my man. Opinion. And he's just coming in here efficiently scoring the ball. He's big. He's strong. He takes it to the hole. Yes. And he's dominant yes. in big three fireball. This is a perfect league for Dewan Summers. Yeah, and, and he can shoot it and create his own shot. So, yeah, that combination is really tough. I know Killer Threes are trying to figure it out. Frank Nitti, he continues to play hard. Josh Powell still is making mid-range mid shots. Dante Green is coming. And he's still a big force in this league. But I think they just have to go back to the drawing board and play Killer Threes basketball. And, and that's just playing hard and, and getting it done. Defensively, offensively, we all know Charles Oakley. He's tough. Yeah. And they got to get back to that toughness and that swagger that they always have. But they took the L that night, and Tri-State gets the win, 50 to 38, over the Killer Threes. Big three. We had triplets and the ball hogs. Two teams I really couldn't wait to see. Really, two players, uh, Joe Johnson and Leandro Barbosa, the Brazilian blur. This guy right here was incredible. Now, first off, Ball Hogs needed this one. If they didn't get this win, they, they feel like they're out. They're 0-3. Right. So they came in with a different type of focus and a different type of effort. Leandro Barbosa was just somebody you could not stay in front of. Candidate for possible MVP this year, man. Possibly. I mean, his first step is second to none. I mean, he goes one way, he goes the other way. It's not that he's doing any crazy moves or anything. He's just so quick and so fast. By the time you realize he's gone, there's no time for help to even get there and it's a layup and so one thing that was interesting I thought that ball hogs did was that they didn't start Jody Meeks and when Jody Meeks got into the game he was on fire absolutely and man. He, he made every shot he, he made the right play and 
at the same time, this was still a, a nail biter because Joe Johnson continues to be a problem. I mean, you were saying the whole game, he might break the, the scoring record. Absolutely. His own record, right? Yes, yes. So, so, he was just killing it. He was on fire. He was unstoppable. It seemed like no matter what ball hogs were doing, he was just unstoppable. And the thing is, when you see Joe Johnson unstoppable like that, you think to yourself, triplets are going to win. Exactly. And at the same time, what was great about him was he still found his teammates. Alonzo G made some big threes down the stretch. But, man, Wallhawks just incredible, man. They took the win, 50 to 48. Get official Big 3 merch at store.big3.com. You can get league and team apparel, including jerseys, jackets, hats, and more. Store.big3.com. Week four, we're back in Dallas. It's going to be an amazing weekend on all our streaming platforms via our Big 3 YouTube, The Zone, and of course, CBS. Uh, week four is about to get lit. Talk about it, T. Well, I'm looking forward to that trilogy versus aliens matchup. Uh, both teams, two and one. Both teams have an electrifying point guards. I mean, Trilogy came back from a 22 deficit to win that game. I love the way Stack is coaching. I love the way Rick Mahorn is coaching. And I think there's two different philosophies. One is a little bit more ball movement, body movement, setting up guys with the aliens. And Trilogy is more so picking at the scab. If your man can't guard you, go at him. And you saw that the way Isaiah Briscoe brought it week three. And I, I have no doubt that he's going to do the same thing week four. So I'm just looking at I like the way they're matched up. I like the way Deshaun Stevens is playing right now. He's real active. He's getting above the rim. And I also like Thomas Love, Evosev, his physicality. And the more that this Aliens team can be together. I like them, Thomas. Yeah, they're, they're young enough. They have a different brand of three-on-three -three fireball basketball. And, you know, as they continue to jail, they're going to be dangerous, but the champs are Trilogy. So this is the test. If they can get through Trilogy, man, the sky's the limit for aliens, but they got to deal with Isaiah Briscoe. They got to deal with Earl Clark, Amir Johnson. They got to deal with the schemes of Steven Jackson, the trash talk of Steven Jackson. And we got to see how tough they're going to be and if they can sustain. So I'm really looking forward to that Aliens Trilogy matchup. Week Absolutely. Three. One of the games I'm looking forward to is an 0-3 bivouac taking on former Big 3 champions, triplets, ISO Joe, MVP, Gerald Green, possible MVP this season. That's the matchup I'm looking forward to and seeing if bivouac gets that first W. Yeah, man, it's a whole lot of buckets to go around. And Joe isn't going to be afraid to take him, and neither is Gerald. He never comes out the game, neither does Joe. I would assume those two guys will match up. And like I said, this bucket's all around. So who's really going to defend? Who's going to have an off night? You never know. And Bivouac, they've just been kind of low-key, kind of close every night. I've been losing by three points every night. So they're competing, but they're still 0-3. And they have to figure out how to get over the hump. And triplets, they're looking to bounce back after that L that they took last week. So we'll see, man. You're right. That's going to be a good one to check out as well. Download the Big 3 app in the App Store and Google Play Store. Exclusive content, stats, highlights, merch, everything you want to know about the Big 3, download the Big 3 app and get it. For more interviews with some of your favorite Big 3 Fireball players, make sure you subscribe to our Big 3 YouTube channel. Follow us on all our social media platforms. And of course, get your tickets, Big3.com, because Dallas, Texas, we are coming back for week four. Thomas Scott, anything before we get on out of here? Man, like I always say, if you haven't seen Big 3, where have you been? But if you have been, why haven't you told a friend? And tell another friend. <laughs> tell another friend. Because I'm telling you, Big 3 Fireball is taking the world by storm. And you know what? I'm sorry. You got to make a trip. If you're somewhere in the Texas area, Houston, Austin, wherever, San Antonio, make a trip of it. Come check it's out the Big it. Three. It's Come check it, out man. the Big Three. Absolutely. Don't forget to subscribe to our Big Three YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for watching all about the Big Three on behalf of the entire Big Three Fireball League. Of course, I got to thank DJ Ski and the Dash Radio Studios here in Hollywood for this amazing facility. I'm your friend Tattoo. That is Thomas Scott, Director of Big Three Fireball Operations. And this is all about the Big Three. We'll see you next week. Big Three. Big Three.